Alrighty, um, so in this video, I will be going over and discussing um, basically the biggest problems with China's $25 billion artificial island. Um, and ultimately why it is failing so hard right now. Um, so to start off with, what is Ocean Flower Island? So Ocean Flower Island is an enormous island off the north coast of Danzhou, located in China. Um, the island was fully opened in the late part of 2020. Um, and this controversial project is the world's largest man-made tourism island, covering about 1,980 acres, uh, which is one and a half times bigger than Dubai's Palm Island. Um, this place has actually earned the nickname Dubai of China. Um, so Ocean Flower Island is made up of three independent flower-shaped little mini islands. Um, Ocean Flower Island number one was de designed to be sort of a one-stop shop sort of deal, um, like a place for national holidays and high tourism. Uh, the goal was actually to be a giant tourist attraction. Um, there are actually 28 major business hubs that include a museum, a fairy tale world, as it says, which sounds a lot like a Disneyland sort of blueprint. Um, there's a water park, a botanic garden, a wedding manor, hot springs, and an international shopping plaza. Um, it was created in mind to be a top tier tourist destination. Um, so island number two and island number three were created as recreational areas, places for people to live. Um, according to a construction plan published by the Danzhou government back in 2019, the permanent population was estimated at 115,800. Um, Evergrande was in charge of developing and building out this project, but the organization has run into quite a lot of issues, expensive issues. Um, so going backtracking a little bit, who is Evergrande? So China Evergrande Group is an investment holding company which operates in property construction, um, hotel operations, financing business, internet business, health industry business, and even more recently, the electric vehicle business. Um, the company was founded in June of 2006 and they are headquartered in Shenzhen, China. They also defaulted on a $300 billion debt. Uh, so Evergrande was a, sorry, is a high leveraged company um, that began to start owing way more than they could pay off, which in turn caused them to miss payments. And ultimately, once their grace period was over, they missed two important payments. So they had to default. Uh, but they were given a quote-unquote restricted default, uh, which meant the company neither ceased any of their operations, nor did they file for any sort of bankruptcy. So they're kind of just floating in the middle, I guess, trying to figure out how to solve this debt issue they're dealing with. Um, but going back to the Flower Island, the same year that Evergrande started building out this project, the local provincial, provi provincial government started to investigate and address them for quote unquote breach of laws and regulations related to ocean flower island um, and this actually resulted in them receiving a roughly 34 million dollar fine um, and during november of 2021 the local government announced that it had withdrawn sale permits for 39 blocks on island number two's residential complex. Um, and this affected almost 9,000 residential homes and 123 shops. They also noted that they terminated sales contracts for 328 other units. Um, Evergrande noted that they had invested about $12.7 billion um into the ocean flower island and built more than six hundred thousand homes over a six year period uh throughout this development um the entire island was dealing with more than 300 billion dollars in debt and struggling to get sales uh, where they needed to in order to pay back the creditors 
um, and the suppliers. Um, and that is due to a lot of this uh, virus stuff going on well, that started. And then now this recession that's going on, um, A, people are getting sick and now B, people don't have money to like go on holiday. So they're kind of in a, a pickle here, um, but it does get worse for Evergrande. Um, so to make it worse, while Evergrande has been attempting to revive itself from its default earlier this year, on November 1st, 2022, which is a f about a week ago, China's Evergrande Group got enforcement notices from the Shenzhen Bank for a roughly $4.48 billion loan. Um, the notices issued allow the banks to then auction their assets um, and Evergrande's issues are causing some seriously negative impacts on China's real estate sector as a whole, um, seeing as they are basically, I don't know if they're number one or number two as far as real estate goes in China, but they're like a top, top player in that sector. And the fact that they're defaulting is not, is not a very good sign for the real estate sector. Um, and, and on the topic of real estate sector, the Ocean Flower Island will be impacted the heaviest due to how much money and time was invested into that project. Um, but it does get worse. Um, so the chairman of Evergrande had his mansion in Hong Kong seized by the bank on November 3rd of this year. Uh, the chairman also owns two other luxury homes within that same development area, um, which of as of which as of now have not yet been seized. But I wouldn't be surprised if that is coming soon. Um, and sitting on more than three hundred billion dollars in total liabilities, uh, the Evergrande Group has had many of its assets seized. Um, their main assets in Hong Kong, actually, which are its headquarters and a big plot of rural land, um, they were both seized earlier this year. Um, so the problem with China's 200, sorry, $25 billion artificial island uh, is that Evergrande is the main player in charge of bringing this idea to life and actually building it out. Um, and once they got permits to do so, they actually did it illegally. Um, and once the law started getting involved and started giving them fines, those fines actually started adding up quite hefty. Um, and on top of dealing with these issues on the island, the company has also over leveraged themselves to hell and back and has stacked up way more debt than they can even pay back. So now they have to kind of pause what they've been doing to figure out how they're going to pay off this debt. I mean, in the process, they're getting all of their assets seized. Um, so China's economy is not in the strongest position right now. Um, so this massive dream project that they had for a beautiful tourist destination um, has kind of been put on hold. Uh, it, it's kind of looking like it's been chopped up, sliced and thrown in the trash. But um, maybe it's just on pause for now. Maybe Evergrande will figure out how to deal with their debt issue in order to resume this project and get it back on its toes. Um, but it also would take the global economy to be better because people just aren't really spending money like that, especially on expensive vacations such as this. Uh, so we'll see how this is gonna play out in the upcoming years, uh, but that's gonna do it for this video. Um, I hope you did find some value out of this. Maybe you learned something that you maybe didn't know before. Um, regardless, uh, be sure to leave a like if you did enjoy. Uh, leave me a comment on what you think about the, the situation. Um, also, be sure to subscribe for more. Peace.